Hi, this is Aaron with iPhone App Daily. Today we have SimCity for you. And as you can see, it's already loading. And we're going to wait for it for a moment. It does take a minute to load. But I thought we'd show this to you. As you can hear, it's already starting to play the classic SimCity style music. A lot of it's like lounge music or, or jazz. And uh, let's just wait for it to load a little bit. Now it's basically SimCity 3000, if you've ever played that. Um, SimCity has been around for many years, and I'm, you're probably familiar with it if you've played any games at all. So, here we have the uh, actual map. So, as you can see, we've got the pause button and some options. So, let's go ahead and start the city. Every time you start the game, it goes into pause. We'll start, and we have different speed options there. So, now the game's running. We'll take a look at an op the options here. And as you can see, you've got different, you know, six different settings here. If we go into this, it's our, uh, well, it takes a second here. It's our, you know, our balance, that sort of thing. And it's been optimized for a touch screen and, and for the size of the screen. So if we want to watch the next, or look at the next, rather, we just scroll. That's it. Just like your photos or anything else. So, and we also have the option of the uh, advisor here. So we'll go ahead and touch that. And then, you know, excess cash reserves, industrial tax averages, that sort of thing. Just like you'd expect. You don't have the graphics of the people, but you do have, you know, what they're telling you. So, we'll go ahead and select that. And now you have your person telling you, you know, what you need to do. And you can scroll and that sort of thing. So, we'll go back. And there we go. So, here's our normal map. Now, if we want to zoom in, you use the pinch. And there you have it. We'll zoom in a little bit further so we can place some land and show you that. So you have your normal buildings, and as you can see, when I touch and move around, you just touch one finger and move around the screen. So I touch, the buildings disappear, and I'm assuming that's because the video in here cannot render that. So let's go ahead and lay a road down. So we'll touch the road icon, and we'll lay a road right here. Now, as you can see, after I put the road down, it's not finished. You've got two options, one here, one here. This option lets you move the road around and touch and drag it. Whoop, now I'm dragging the screen. Touch that icon there, and you move the road. Go ahead and put it right there. The other one lets you drag the road longer, so we'll go ahead and select it. So that's it, and then we push back. Now that's it for, you know, Lego Road. Now let me go ahead and show you these options. These are your your different um, land areas you're going to lay down. You lay down a land area, then people come and, and, and build their homes there. So here we have residential, commercial, industrial. If we touch that, we have different, uh, you know, dense, medium, and, and um, you know, low, uh, low residential area, meaning like this might be farmland, this might be your houses, this might be your city area. So we'll go ahead and just lay this down. Now in order to do that, We'll go ahead and touch right here. We drag the size we want. Now generally you don't want to do more than a 3x3 three three, um, or 3 long. So we'll shrink this a little bit. See, we can move it. It is a little bit tricky to get used to. So that's it. We'll select it. And that's where we want it. Now it's away from the road. Uh, if you want to put, you know, more, we can touch it. Touch. Real quick. Loads fast. I made it too long. And we'll move this. Oops, we'll move it. There we go. So we select it. And as you can see, it takes a little bit of getting used to. I've been playing it for, I don't know, I've had it for a week or two. So there we go. So we have our residential area. Now, since it's not touching any other areas, we have to run power to it. So in order to run power to it, we've got our different power and, uh, you know, po these are power lines, power plant, and different uh, sewage options as far as you have to run pipes, rather. So we'll touch our power. There's our power plants if you want to lay one of those down, and you can scroll through. The only thing that's kind of annoying is every time you do that, it doesn't come up in a pop-up menu. Uh, I don't know if that's because it can't render it, but they just, you know, show you the different uh, buildings. So here's the power lines. And we'll go ahead and just drag a power line here. And as you can see, you've got the normal options again to move it around. We'll select that, and there we have our power line. Now, residents will move in with just a power line. See, they just started the build already. Um, but in order to make them happy, you want to put 
sewage lines as well. And we can see it's already watered, but just to show you, there's our, again, there's our options. We move that around, just like you would any other uh, placement in this game. And that's it. We go back. The only thing I found annoying is going in and out of options. It doesn't seem to really slow down a whole lot. You know, as the more you build, it really hasn't changed. It's just this dragging when you see this. Uh, so let me just show you a couple more options. Um, here we have our buildings. You have trees and, you know, different recreational things. So every time you do that, it loads. Sometimes the sound gets a little choppy, but see, we have a park or, you know, here's a gazebo, here's a another park. Uh, we'll put a fountain down. Now the difference when you put one of these down is you just touch. That's not where you want it. See that little blue dot? We'll move it around. Oops. Again, you have to get your finger on there. We'll move it. We want the park there. We select OK. Now, obviously nobody's going to go there. There's no roads that you know in this game. So that's it for those options. Let me just show you the couple other options. You've got all the options of SimCity 3000. Um, here you've got your little graph to show you, you know, what's desirable. Right now industrial is desirable. Uh, but right here we'll show you some of the graphs. And um, you can scroll up and down. You know, let's look at fire hazard. Touch. Let me select. And now if we drag the darker the color, the more fire hazard it is. So if we place a fire station, that problem should go away. I keep thinking you have to touch to uh, get that to work. But So let's place the, the station right there. See it's blue, went from red. I don't know if you saw that red, you can't place it. Blue you can. And that's it. So our fire risk should go down. Now that may take a little bit, but it should go down eventually. But that's pretty much it for SimCity. It's the classic SimCity you've you've probably known, and if you're going to buy this game, uh, you probably already know what SimCity is. It's a uh, $9.99 game, so $10, and it's well worth it for a sim full-fledged SimCity game. Um, that's it for today. We'll see you again for iPhone App Daily, and check back on our website.